Hey, hello there, RGB from RGBGV here, coming in live. Well, not quite live. I mean, I'm casting this live for myself, but when you're here, when you're going to be watching it, it's not going to be live. Although the game is a replay, so it's actually not live at all. I am just spreading fake news. So here, this is something that I usually would never ever touch. But I thought, hey, this might be fun. This might be fun for a change of pace, for a change of content, and for the sake of some variety. We've got two teams in a 3v3. We've got Squid... Squid Champong? Squid Champong? I, I think it's Squid Champong. I'm not quite sure. But we've got Gochu Bat here on a Protoss. So we've got Terran, Protoss, and the third player is also... Wait, no, that's... Here. The third player, Navy Sunny, is also a Protoss. And team number two, we've got Hamburger Sazu on the Zerg. We've got Soil on the Zerg as well. And we've got a Rabbit, Toki, on the name Audrel, Audrel F 23 which means something on the Korean keyboard. I typed it out one time, but I kind of forgot what it meant. So, we'll just call him Rabbit. It is a Protoss Zerg Zerg against a Terran Protoss Protoss. Traditionally, I would say this is heavily in favor of the Protoss Protoss Terran. This is going to be a very, very difficult match for Team Burger Sasu. Well, that might not even be the real Burger Sasu. This is actually a fake Burger Sasu. I just noticed it's double G. So this is actually just a game from Rabbit's Out of Say. And it is a team game. The Burger Sasu is a fake Burger Sasu. Very sad. Would have been great if it was a real one. But the double G there, of course, means it is not the real Burger Sasu. But it doesn't mean this guy is going to have to be a bad player. I have a feeling all these people in this game could all be a pretty damn good player. So I'm kind of excited to see what a 3v3 public game, very high level, on the Korean server, what it is. What is it? What does it mean? What does it look like? What does one of those very high level public games on the Korean servers look like? Because I do play a lot of very high level public games on the Western server myself a lot, but it's so damn difficult to get three somewhat evenly good players or just three, uh, six somewhat evenly good or just six good players of varying levels. It's very hard to find six players who are good. And most of the time people don't really want to wait more than 30 seconds on finding good people. So they just let anyone in Sometimes people of very low skill level get onto the teams or the enemy teams. And you get very weird, not very interesting games. Because the very low skill level people, their team usually loses. And the people on the very good team pretty much always win. So this is, in that sense, more interesting. Everyone, I hope everyone, is a very good player. So Rabbit arrives here on the scene at Sunny's base. Goes after the probes there. Looks like he went for double gateway Three cannons, fast cyber core, might go for a very fast Dark Templars because that is a surefire way of helping his allies out and survive. He arrives here at Squid Champong's SCVs to take down some SCVs before the Vultures spawn. Now, usually the Terran here would not go for a machine shop first, they would just go for Vultures right off the bat, make a bunch of them, then get a machine shop to secure themselves and prevent this from happening. Like, you don't want to lose SCVs to a Zealot. But now, Rabbit here is getting attacked as well. Almost put the probe here in a good position to wall off the cannons, but he's getting on top of the cannons, which is pretty bad news here for Rabbit. Loses one cannon. Does not lose cannon number two. The Zealots all do go down, so it looks like that single probe that walled off this tiny little section there did just enough to slow the Zealots down, have them eat a little bit more damage, and secure the base. Got a Templar's Archive there on the way. We have five gateways there from Gochu Bat, and he's going for a Cybercore now as well. Might go for Zelda Speed on a single gas. Oh, well, it's a double gas now. And we've got Soil here, just building a lot of hatcheries and getting a gas now. He's on 18 drones at the moment. He's just planning on growing a little bit bigger, but he's in trouble because we've got Zealots and Vultures coming out on the way. Starts morphing his creep colonies into Sunkens and adds on a couple more creep colonies as well. Gonna try to put this one, I should have put it right there and block off access to his two inner Sunkens. With the Sunken here, right there, it's not really gonna do a whole lot. He's losing drones to the Vultures. The Vultures are doing a great job killing drones. The Zealots are there just to tank damage from the Sunkens. And he's down to 11 drones in total. Might even go down to 10 
Nope, he's going to be on 11. So things are not looking too great there for Soil. We've got Squid Champong going for tanks very early. He did, in fact, not place any mines in the middle. And I think placing mines here on the middle would have been a really good option against Rabbit, who's going for Dark Templars. Now the Dark Templars have free reign, free roaming on the map. They can go anywhere they want. Although there are some cannons being built there in the front of Kochibat's base. And there are some cannons, well, in the back of Sunny's base. Just right there. Just that one single cannon. Nothing in the front there yet. So Zealots once again are on the hunt, but he's got Zealots of his own there in between the pylons and on the cannons. So he's not going to get on top of the cannons, he's going to have to run away. And now though, we do have Dark Templars coming into Squid Champ Pong space, because he built a turret there in the front, just on time. While here, inside of Soil Space, the tanks are getting hunted down because there are no Vultures to support them. This is why you get a lot more Vultures and don't just immediately start building a tank. Because the Zealots have trouble defending the tank, and the Hylists are coming out, take down one tank, gonna try to take down these other three as well. He sieges up, and his Hylists are moving forward to kind of nullify the tank range. Now the turret there is also going down. Squid Champong not having a hot game. Some turrets being built there by his ally Sunny. Sunny is a really good team player, it appears. Playing on a single Nexus, just producing non stop hardcore. He's got a little bit too much gas there, though. Looks like he didn't. Yeah, he's got a little bit too much gas there, to be honest. So now we've got a fight here, breaking out between Burger and Sunny. Got a drop there, prepared from Rabbit, going straight for Gochi Bat's minerals, but there are Dragoons in between, and they're going to try to snipe down. Ooh, he storms! They just get about... Well, this Templar got no kills. The other Templar, I couldn't quite see, but he did... I think he killed a couple of probes, but not a whole lot, it appears. Maybe three or two, maybe nothing at all. Fake Burger Sasa here, though, is doing a great job at fighting off maybe Sunny, who's mostly focused on just building uh, gateway units, getting Zelda speed as well, getting level 1 attack there, almost finished up. We've got uh, Squid Champong being contained into his base by only two Dark Templars because he did not get a scan yet. Does not have an academy, so he can't even build a scan and doesn't have starports either. So his science facility will not be on the way anytime soon. We do have observers coming out there from Gochibat, which might allow. Uh, Squid Champong to move into the middle once those observers, yeah, they are moving here into the front to detect those Dark Templars. We've got a drop there coming out. It's flying towards Soil, but they retreat from Soil's base because Burger Sasu, fake Burger Sasu here, got a pretty good amount of Hylosks threatening to enter the middle. And every time, every time he threatens to enter the middle, you can see that the team of Protoss Terran Protoss retreats back into the middle because they cannot afford to have those Hylodus take over the game. Or counter attack. So yeah, a couple probes there go down, but not a whole lot. All players so far have shown pretty good storm dodges. Another drop there on the way, going probably towards uh, Sunny's base once again. Sunny's got almost 500 APM. This guy really does not joke around. This guy is playing hardcore. So that's playing really, really hardcore. Another drop there arriving once again inside of Gojibat space. Rap Ooh, that's a big drop. Takes down a lot of probes. Down to 17. I think he had about 40 in total. Maybe, yeah, I think about 40. So that's a big hit on Gojibat's economy. A lot of drop there coming out on Sunny once again. How many kills does he get? Gets two. Not a really big drop, but a drop nonetheless, and that's what matters. A push here on Soil though, a lot of tanks, a lot of Dragoons and Zealots, he's in a bit of a bind, a bit of a trouble. Hamburger Sasu, the fake one, cannot enter the middle. He's kind of still pretty small, he's on only six hatcheries, not really expanding that much. Not really getting a lot of drones, a lot of gas in the bank though. So Soil trying to keep his ally alive, Rabbit's Zealots are coming in to save today, Rabbit is now switching to a combination of drops and mass attacks, or at least mass defenses. And it's working out, it's working out pretty well as the Zealots and Hylodus clear out all the tanks and the Zealots that Gochubat and Squid Champong had here on the scene. And Burger Sasu here also managing to break through that army of Sunny. Level 1 attack finished there on his Dragoons, level 1 attack and yet finished there on the Hylodus. The Hylodus 
are definitely winning the fight in here also. It looks like the Zealots and Dragoons will win the fight with supported tanks, that is for sure. So Soil has to pull back. Those tanks here are the big game changer. Tries to get on top of the tanks there on the top side. Has to kill at least those tanks as well. Cannot quite get tank kill. Doji Bat now back on 25 probes. Rabbit only just now finished up his second Nexus. Getting another drop there, loading it up. He's got 8 Gateways there on the top side and 6 here on the bottom side. And this might be some Stargates and more robotics for bigger drops with Corsairs for support. Looks like this Observer there spots out the shuttle. Templar unloads. Templar is not within range, has to walk all the way around. So instead, storms on the Dragoons instead. And the Dragoons take some damage, but not too much. The probes all stay alive. That's what matters the most. So the middle here is under um, Karen Protoss, Protoss Control. But we have an Overlord drop there prepared from Burger Sasu. Going straight for Sunny. Sunny not prepared for this one. Setting his probes to safety there, though. Pulling his Dragoons and Zealots back to defend. There's a couple of cannons. A couple of lurkers are unloading. A couple of high. There's no Hydalisks. So actually, this is not really going to do that much damage. If he has more Hydalisks in there, he could maybe take down the cannons and then kill the Nexus. But only lurkers have to burrow up first. They don't really do damage immediately. So the drop there does kind of disappoint. Kind of badly disappoints. And he's still pretty damn small here back at home. Only 35 drones, 11 minutes in. He had some pretty good cool moves so far. A lot of Hydalisk production, but not a whole lot of drone production. And it's kind of showing because he hasn't grown bigger all that much. Same here for Soil, who has not really grown bigger all that much. He's got some lurkers, but he doesn't really have any advanced technology. This looks like he has a high bomb weight, but his hatchery count is still kind of low. So Toki here trying to distract to by attacking Gochibat pulls back Sunny's and Gochu's units back into Gochu's base. Has a drop there prepared. Gonna go for Gochu. Probably it's a Corsair and a Shuttle. Rabbit is playing pretty well, I will admit. 61 probes there. His probe count is you could consider his probe count a little bit low because he went for a very, very late plus one Nexus. Goes for Gochibat once again, but Gochibat has got vision all over the hills. Oh, it's a fake out. Rabbit with the cool play, the fake out play. Double storm, but he doesn't have the energy for the storms. He storms, but misses the storm. But a beautiful setup of going for a fake drop and a real drop. Didn't quite work out. Gochibat did not let it slip through and dodge the storm perfectly. Nice job there, Gochibat. You are really... All these players are so far... I mean, I've seen some weaknesses, I've seen some mistakes, but so far, the home team has really shown themselves quite capable. Same for Soil and the Hamburger Sass, although Hamburger Sass is still no Hive. 37 drones, might have to start making more drones, but at the moment he's trying to contain Sunny with the Lurker Hydalisk. They're on the middle. We need some Overlords here as well, so we can kill the Observers and keep this alive. Another drop there coming out on to Gochu Bat. Starts loading the Templars. There's two Templars in there. Storms on the probes, and this time around he gets a lot more kills. He's down to 16 probes in total. Can is being built there on the middle to protect those tanks, to keep people from helping out Soil. Soil has got the Fire Mound there finishing up. So Soil is progressing into Lurker swarm technology which will keep him safe from those tanks which will force soil to kind of get a lot more I'd say vessels so an attack here on to Gochibat who is pretty broke pretty small army but we have no detection Templar arrives on the scene Templar storms Templar gets a huge shot once again kills 12 the Dark Templars that were killing Hylodus here have done a lot of work. Another drop comes out and he gets a couple more kills. So Rabbit really showing off with his double drop trickery. Carrying his team by keeping Gochu Bat as poor as he can possibly be. More Zealots are on the way towards Gochu Bat's base. Rabbit hasn't really built much over the last four minutes or so. I think at ten minutes in he already had about all these buildings. But he's been playing on fire. He's been producing, he's been sending, he's been attacking, he's been dropping non-stop for the last six minutes. So he's doing a great job of keeping the enemy poor. Oh well, 
keeping Gochiban poor, who's now trying to kill, but there's a lot of cannons and dragoons there. Drop there comes out on to Squid Champong. Squid Champong not pulling his SCDs to safety. Storms. How many kills is he gonna get? Well, that one went down, but he went down from, I think, about 75 down to 31. So big hit there on Squid Champong. He's got three command centers, though. And already has a large army, so he should be able to recover his economy without much problem. Dark Swarms there inside of Soil's base to keep those tanks away, to keep those tanks occupied. So a large group of Lorcas are on the top side, going to move them in with the Zerklings S cover fire to take tank shots. So he's going to clear out all those tanks with that big Lurker Burrow there in the front. Might take down those cannons on the middle as well. Gojibat is recovering a tiny little bit. Got Dragoons are on the bottom side to take down the shuttles. So yeah, looks like they are... Oh, we lost a lot of drones that to irradiate. So much is happening in this game. A couple of tanks are still on the bottom side. They're going to be taken down. Lurkers are protecting the front. Still has to rebuild all of his drones because he just lost a lot of the drones. Burger Sasa here still has no hive. Still always oh, finally getting a hive. But 15 minutes in, that's kind of late. This guy is definitely... I, he's, he's, he's not getting attacked. I think if he had gotten attacked, he would have probably died by now. But they're just really focusing on soil. They want to kill soil no matter what it takes. And it's showing because... I think that if they went for a hamburger sauce so they're on the top corner, they could have killed him. But they just want to kill Soil and nobody else. Storm comes down there, he kills a bunch of drones, but most of the drones do make it to safety. He stays alive there quite well. Quite well. Drop there on to Sunny. He kills a couple of probes are on the gas, but most of the probes do make it to safety because he's got them all hotkeyed. And with his freakish APM, pulling them all to safety should be no problem whatsoever. More observers are moving all across the map. They're all owned by Gochubat. More cannons are on the middle. A couple tanks there to protect the cannons. And now they're going to put a ledge onto Toki. Something he should have done way earlier into the game. Putting some Goliaths there as well. He's no longer resuming the push onto soil. Because the Lurker Swarm there in the front is keeping him safe. So they're flying away. We've got a shuttle dropper coming onto Burger Sass. So we've got a couple hiders there on the hill. He's going to pull his drones to safety. Yes, he is. But he's going to get stormed. Loses not too many. I think he lost about nine. Lost about nine. Still no Great Aspire. Still no super advanced technology finished up. Does have some Ulysk there and some Lurkers in the front. Looks like he's going to go for another overall drop onto Sunny. Sunny now setting an attack here to clear out those Lurkers with his Zealots. Because the Zealots can successfully attack whatever is below a dark swarm but now he's returning back home because the drop is coming into his base and he has to make sure he's not gonna die to the drop another drop here on to squid champong squid champong once again not really pulling his workers to safety come on lose them once again from 64 down to 29 gets a couple more kills there on the gas down to 24 this army that Hamburger has unloaded inside of Sunny's base is getting taken down because he's not burrowing up the Lurkers. He's picking up new units. Now the Lurkers do get burrowed up. There's no detection on the scene. So those Lurkers are going to secure the perimeter. Wait, there's an observer right there. It's barely visible, a little bit difficult to see. Small drop there onto the depots of Squid Champong. A lot of action all happening all over the place all at the same time. No scarabs though inside those reavers. No scarabs though inside those reavers. So they end up killing absolutely nothing at all. A little bit of an oversight there from Rabbit. As he might have been preoccupied with defending a drop. Because I see right now he's down to 47 probes in total. So it looks like he definitely got dropped by someone. Soil here though still pushing into the middle. Killed most of the cannons there with the lurker swarm push. But now zealots are coming in to take revenge and take down those lurkers. His economy has recovered, back on 53 drones, still not very rich, might need a couple more, maybe 20 more, and he would be completely fine. He would be completely fine with just about 20 more. A couple tanks there on the hills, being absolutely painful. Or rabbit, more tanks here on the other hill as well. Gonna unload some units on top of that tank for sure. And Burger Sasu, fake Burger Sasu, slowly pushing in on Sunny, but Sunny is gonna defend this one easily. He has detection. He has Dragoons and he has High Templars. So, yeah, Burger is not really achieving much because he is still kind of small. He's still kind of small. He hasn't really ever gone up to a high amount of drones. His drone count is very, very low. Getting a couple more now, though, on about 50 in total. 
We got the Goliaths and tanks pushing into Toki's base. Toki is kind of in trouble here. He does have Dragoons and Zealots of his own. Has Dragoons and Zealots of his own. There's no more Goliaths protecting the tanks beyond the hill. Which might give Rabbit an opportunity to break free. Might give an opportunity to break free. Squid Champong back on 50 SCVs. A large, large army from Soil Healer. Soil here getting a pretty big army. But Rabbit is in trouble. Rabbit definitely is in some trouble. As Zealots, High Templar, Shroons, Tanks, and Goliaths are all rolling up into his front door. And Burger, the fake Burger size, is still putting pressure up onto Sunny, who's kind of low on workers because he has been getting dropped quite a lot by Rabbit. Rabbit is indeed in some trouble. He's got 60 probes, still making more. Drop there coming in onto Rabbit. Probes are running away. He's missing the storm completely. Complete storm failure there from Sunny on to Rabbit. That is a lucky break, but he's still in quite some trouble because he's still getting pushed in here in the front. He needs some help really quick from his allies. And it just so happens that Squid Champong moved all of his tanks from the hillside here into Rabbit's base. So these Hydra's lurkers and Dark Swarm, some of the fighters, might just save Rabbit's life. They might just save his life. There are High Templars though, and there are some Zealots. There's no detection here though, so the Lurkers are gonna get stormed to death. So after all, he's not gonna save his ally. He's asking his ally to go and attack. Oh no, he's asking his allies to go and save him because he's in trouble. And Sunny here is losing ground. Burger Sasu, fake Burger Sasu, is gaining ground on Sunny. I don't think he should have to Overlord drop, though. He can just kind of walk through the middle because there's nothing protecting the middle. He's maybe assuming there are tanks on the middle, but there's nothing on the middle whatsoever. So he can kind of just attack instead of having to pick up, send over, pick up, send over time and time again. He can kind of just walk right in there and attack through the front door, kill the gateways, and kill Sunny probably once and for all. And here a rabbit has successfully defended one way or another. He's somehow done it. He killed all the tanks. Not quite sure how he did it. Maybe it was the Dark Templar. Maybe it was Storms. Maybe it was the Zealots. But he has managed to clear out all the tanks. With more units from Gochibat coming in though. Gochibat has recovered quite nicely. He has quite a good amount of gateways now as well. And 65 probes in total. Triple Nexus getting... S well, he's got one Forge. So the upgrades might not be in the best shape. He's in 101. Arguably because he's been getting... Well, Storm Drop by Rabbit, pretty much the entire game. Upgrades for Soil, always oh, getting Storm, he's getting irradiated to death. How many kills does that Duty Vessels have? 45, 3, and 4, yeah, that's painful. He's down to 9 drones and 55 minerals. It's going to take a while for him to recover. It's going to take a while for him to recover. But so far, Soil has been holding out quite well. He's not mining from all the gas. Still quite low on drone count. Not really attacking that frequently. He... Well, he's trying to do very immaculate and elaborate setups, but they're not really working out that much. But he, at least he managed to, at least once, clear out the entire middle of cannons and tanks, which is quite impressive in and of itself. Drop there coming in, but a drop is not being controlled, and a drop gets taken down. Rabbit tried to dodge, but the drop got sniped by the Corsairs, of all. By the Corsairs. So go to bed there, slowly pushing forward, storming with Dragoons and Templars, slowly killing Rabbit's base. Rabbit is holding on, though. Got quite a bit of Reavers, quite a bit of Zealots there, ready to defend. Coming in the flank, we've got a large army from Hamburger Sassy here once again. Underneath the Dark Swarm, and with the Dark Swarm and Hydra, this is actually quite dangerous because those lurkers under the Dark Swarm, they can kill everything here as long as the Dark Swarm is kept alive and kept active. The tanks are not an issue because the Dark Swarm lurker, they don't care about tanks. The tanks will not damage those lurkers. So he's pushing forward. Sunny is in trouble. Sunny is, at this point, I'd say effectively killed. There's nothing really he can do here to defend. And a large, large Mutalisk and Overlord drop here onto Squid Champong. He's got Lurker Swarm here as well. Burrow's up, gonna kill all the SCBs. SCBs do kind of make it out alive for a small part, but the rest all gets killed. 
So two players, Squid Champong and Sunny, both getting taken out at the exact same time. Sunny's probes are still alive though, but Squid Champong's workers are pretty much all dead. Lifted up the command center there to keep it alive. Getting tanks in the back as well. I think the, the fire went down, lifting up the remaining command centers as well. Rabbit there still in trouble, still getting attacked by Gochubat. Getting storm dropped down to 18 at the same time as well. Setting out a storm drop into Gochubat's base, but Gochubat has the Dragoons and cannons all over the scene, all over the place. He's unloading the high Templar storms and he gets a couple of kills, but not a whole lot because he had about 65 and now he's in 55. So Gochubat is still completely fine. The defiler here went down, but the damage has been done. The Nexus has been taken down. The probes are still alive, but the Nexus is gone and he killed the entire corner here, the entire section of structures. But Rabbit is in trouble. He needs some help. Rabbit definitely needs some help. He is in real trouble. And Squid Champong at the moment not moving. He's kind of focused somewhere, but I'm not sure where he's focused on. He's not recovering. He's playing, but he's not recovering his economy at the moment. He's kind of just controlling his units somewhere, but I'm not sure where he is controlling his units. He's just not focusing on rebuilding. He's not focusing on using those tanks. Okay, he's finally playing once again. He was doing nothing for a little bit. I'm not sure what he was doing. But he started to build SCVs once again. So he's planning on recovering. He hasn't given up just yet. Rabbit there still alive. 17 probes in total. Gochubat at the moment. Gochubat was the biggest weakness on the Protoss, Protoss Terran team. But at the moment he's looking pretty strong. He's actually the person keeping Rabbit so small that Rabbit cannot really participate. He just has to focus on staying alive and defending non-stop. Rabbit is broke. He's got 23 probes. He really could use some help. And his allies at the moment are not really helping him. Mutas are moving out though, so these mutas might be flying over to help out Rabbit. Probably gonna build some guardians here in the back and send them out to clear out those dragoons here in his base. Ooh, he's going for the drop tips first so that the tanks are not arriving on location. He's got a lurker swarm here inside of Squid Champong's base. Honestly, Soil has been playing really well. He's got a small economy overall, but the things he's been doing, they've all been rather effective. I like it. In the first half, Rabbit was keeping his enemies broke giving Hamburger and Soil time to grow big. And now Soil and Burger Sasu are carrying a rabbit who's done his, done his sacrificial, sacrificial job. He has been the sacrifice, he's done his job, he's kept his... He's bought time for his Zerg allies. Although the Zerg allies have done a great job keeping themselves alive as well. Sunny is definitely out of the game here. He might want to migrate to the top corner. Just give up on this entire 12 o'clock base. The muted here from Soil. I haven't really checked on their upgrades, but 0-0. Zero, zero. What did I expect? 0-0 zero, zero upgrades there on the Mutalisks. We've got 2-1-2 two, two there on Gochubat's gateway unit. So he has three gate, uh, forges now, and he's producing quite a good amount of upgrades for his Dragoons. So he, he, is, he definitely is on fire at the moment. I'd say he's definitely on fire at the moment. Now, Burger Sasu having finished off Sunny, more or less. Technically not, but effectively, Sunny is out of the game. Let's try to run to safety, but he's going to run into the Lurkers by accident and loses most of his probes there. Most of them get taken down. He's now adjusting his running away path to make sure he isn't losing all of his probes to the Lurkers. But this game definitely turned out to be more interesting and exciting than I thought it would be. Well, I, I had high expectations. It's been an interesting game. I've seen be seeing a lot of stuff happening all over the place. Fake Burger Sazu has... Well... He's not... I'm a little bit disappointed it's not the real Burger Sazu, but he has done a great job pulling his weight for the team. Rabbit now back on 31 probes. I guess he got hit once again. Still defending against Gochubat's attacks. Gochubat no longer having that much of a success pushing 
into rabbit base. Looks like Soil has not gone for a second attack on to Squid Champong again. Well, he is going for an attack right now. But it's Zerglings into tanks, and that is not really gonna work, is it? Although he did get a good plague there onto the tanks, which might be just enough. Might be just enough. And maybe if you just keep sending enough Zerglings, maybe you will get through. Just send in enough Zerglings and eventually you will break through. Like, look at this, he's breaking through. Guardian's here to protect Toki. Rabbit is under Guardian protection. As the name implies, he is under Guardian protection. So Goji Bat comes in to save Squid Champong. Like Squid Champong was kind of in danger right there. Things weren't looking too pog for him. Got some lurkers there. Oh, lurkers. Oh, he's calling GG. They're all calling GG and the Protoss Zerg Zerg team ends up winning the game with good teamwork and a little bit of a passing the baton style play, which should be what you're always doing. Like when you're Protoss with two Zergs, either you go for a big mass and try to keep your Zerg allies alive with your mass, or you try to support them with Dark Templars, or you go for very fast storm drops that hit really early on and help keep your Zerg allies alive. But most of all, Soil, who was the main focus for most of the game, kept himself alive really well. Burger Sass, I think they could have killed him a couple times early on. They just ignored him, which allowed him to shine. Sometimes it's all it takes. Ignore a player, ignore Zerk, and that Zerk will shine. Not always, but most of the times they will. Thank you for watching. This is a little bit different from the usual games. The usual 1v1, the usual very high level 2v2 and 3v3. It was kind of just a public game of somewhat high level players having some fun playing a public match 3v3. I assume random, 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 random. Everyone was random. Or maybe the Protoss, Protoss Terran team picked Protoss, Protoss Terran. Who knows? I don't know. I just know that I enjoyed watching that game. And I hope you did too. See you soon. See you next time. And remember, the algorithm needs your help. Leave a like, a comment, and perhaps a subscribe. Just anything that is seen as engagement in the algorithm.